So this is the second part of the video series Cleaning Ganga River. In this video, let's discuss about pollution sources of the Ganga River. So Ganga River is polluted due to addition of organic waste, sewage from the municipal uh, waste and industrial waste, trash cans, polythene cans, clothes, food, floral offerings, addition, uh, a dumping of human dead bodies uh, and animal carcasses into the river. So this is due to urbanization rapid urbanization and rapid industrialization on the bank of the river, raising standard of living of the people which is causing various uh, uh, trash like uh, uh, polythene cans, clothes and food okay and exponential population growth in this region and their concomitant uh, pressure on the river for livelihood is another reason. So the causes of Ganga pollution is extreme okay it is causing the waterborne diseases among the people. So these waterborne diseases include cholera, hepatitis, typhoid, amoebic dysentery, gallbladder diseases. So majorly the poor people are victims uh, of the Ganga pollution. So it is leading to 80% of all the health problems in the region caused by the waterborne diseases and one third of the deaths. So this is severe, this is serious okay. So now let's look at the various point and non-point sources which are adding pollution pollutants to the Ganga river. So here point sources refers to the sources of pollutants which are added directly to the Ganga river. Okay. So non-point sources are the sources of pollutants which contributes pollution indirectly through other means. So direct sources include industrial wastes and municipal waste. So industrial waste accounts for 15% of the point source pollution. So industries adds 260 million liter of waste into the Ganga river directly. They are adding waste directly into the Ganga river. This much of liquid. Okay. And municipal sewage waste accounts for 80% of the point sources. So the onus is directly on the government of these states since they add uh, municipal sewage waste instead of treating uh, treating the waste in the sewage treatment plants. So we are adding totally from the 11 states 1.3 billion liter of sewage into the Ganga river directly shamelessly. Okay. So if we look at the uh, industrial waste uh, from various pollute, uh, pollution based industries like food processing industries, fertilizer manufacturing industries, pharmaceutical industries, electroplating industries like uh, uh, which adds uh, heavy metals into the river and textile and paper industries, tanneries, oil refineries. So these are all the pollution based industries which are situated on the banks of the river and the major cities on which through which Ganga river pa passes. Okay. So this is the one of the pressure and municipal sewage waste contains various nutrients, coliform, bacteria, organics which adds pollution to the river. So industrial waste also contains in its liquid effluent various chemicals like PCBs, okay, salt, cyanides, HCl, pesticides, bleaches and dyes, heavy metals, ammonium sulfate and various organic halides. So please remember some of these points. You can add this in your answer, enrich your answer, okay. And non-point sources include that is indirect way of adding pollutants into the river include runoff from the rural settlements. We know that uh, uh, still in rural areas people practice open defecation, okay. So this open def defecation uh, leads to runoff of the fecal coliform into the into the nearby river source. So when the rainfall rain falls to the ground these human waste are carried to the river thereby polluting the river. So farmers use fertilizers and pesticides as part of the green revolution uh, in their field and these are also carried away through runoff when the rain falls into the river okay and dumping of animal carcasses and disposal of the dead bodies. So Hindus consider Ganga river as sacred they want they wish them to be cremated near the Ganga river. So cremation on wood piles is one of the reasons for 
the pollution of the Ganga River. Uh, in Varanasi alone, we find 40,000 cremations performed annually. Okay, and it some 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 of the people leaves partially unburnt dead bodies into the uh, into the river because of the carelessness. And Ganga River is considered as God, and people offer offer their offerings uh, to the river through flowers and other uh, puja materials so this is also adding adding pollution so sometimes dead bodies are thrown as it is into the ganga river because of the unaffordability of the uh, cremation uh, expenses and solid waste are also added dhobi ghats are there all along the course of the river ganga in major cities so they add uh, soap waste and other thing to the river and cattle wallowing and mass bathing these are all the non-point sources to the Ganga river so majorly point sources include industrial waste and municipal sewage waste non-point sources include runoff from from the rural settlements fertilizers and pesticides from the agriculture fields open defecation and other related issues so if we want to uh, design an innovative program to clean Ganga river we have to look at these sources we have to mitigate these sources so this is important and another thing is that the pressure population pressure on the river if you look at the 11 states and the major statutory towns and their population it comes to know that there is huge pressure on the river so in bihar we have 143 statutory towns okay and the population is 86 lakh in the 2001 it increased to more than 1 crore after 2011 okay so in Uttar Pradesh we have 670 statutory towns it is 34 million people so that is equal to uh, uh, population of the Italy uh, some of the European countries so it increased to 44 million that is 4.4 4, 4, 4 crore people so you can imagine the pressure of the uh, population on the uh, uh, on the Ganga River and unsustainable use of the river for various uh, productive purposes. So these are all the point and non-point sources. So thanks for watching.